Well, hello and good morning and uh, welcome to this uh, first uh, UPM in Novatech International Workshop. Um, and first of all, let me excuse the presence here of, of the rector of the university that wanted to attend but finally could not be here with you. Uh, I am uh, Roberto Prieto, the Vice President for Research of the Technical University of Madrid. And here at the table with me are two very relevant persons that you probably know, both of them. Uh, I have uh, at my left. Uh, she's uh, Maria Luisa Pontela, and she's the Secretary and the General Secretary for the Ministry of Competitiveness and Economy. And at my right uh, is uh, Professor Gonzalo Leon, that uh, well, he's the, the Director of the Center for Supporting the Technology and Innovation of the uh, Technical University of Madrid. Uh, later, he will explain you a, a little bit more about what is this Center for Supporting the Technical Innovation. and. Uh, just for starting this opening session, uh, I, I give you I give uh, the floor to Mario Di Sapone. Thank you. Thank you. Tim, no, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> First, uh, Montalvo will say a few. Yes, yeah, to finalize this session with with Marisa Gonzalo. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, dear Roberto, Vice Director, dear Marisa, Secretary General. They are members of the International Advisory Board, uh, speakers and colleagues, uh, friends. Uh, today it's a very important day for us because this is the first international um, innovation and technology-based entrepreneurship model workshop we have organized uh, on behalf of the, of the Campus of Excellence of, uh, of Montegancedo. You know that this campus has, uh, was declared by the Ministry of uh, Education and also for the Ministry of Innovation and Competitiveness as an international campus of excellence in, in Spain. And then as a part of it, uh, we created the, the Support Center for Technological Innovation as a part of it as a mechanism to improve and to move uh, technologies forward. Um, here in this campus, we are trying to, to, to have a, a science-driven innovation, in close connection to the activities of research in the research center located here, but also with the higher education, working in the so-called knowledge triangle. And uh, probably for a European colleagues, uh, they know very well that this is a, a buzzword used uh, in the European Union commission many times eh, to demonstrate that it is necessary to have uh, uh, three dimensions uh, working together from the education part, from the innovation part, from the research part, because it isn't a way to, to move forward things. Eh. This uh, first in international uh, workshop represents also the possibility to confront our models for entrepreneurship, uh, innovation, uh, commercialization of uh, research results in Europe and also in the States. That is the reason that in the program we have also invited some uh, uh, speakers coming from from uh, from Europe and also from the uh, from the United States and also from India. Then it is just uh, to be able to understand uh, what differences are or what is happening in in, in different parts of the world. Uh, we are fully convinced that, that we are living in a globalized world, and then we will try to do any kind of thing related to technology innovation and commercialization of results. The only way to do that is to have a broader view eh, and a broader approach mm -hmm. uh, uh, dealing with uh, everything happening in the rest of the world. Uh, then um, we are firmly convinced that the lessons learned in other contexts, uh, the change of point of view, the mechanism to, to to uh, support the creation of a new startup <laughs> companies, etc., is important and we, we need to learn from others. Huh? Then uh, let me just in the, this welcome session uh, to thank, uh, first of all, to the Ministry of Education, Culture and the Sports and the Ministry of Competitiveness and Innovation for the support received by the university in this uh, modernization process of, uh, of universities in Spain as a part of the, of the International Campus of Excellence program. At the end, uh, we are in a, living in a technical university, and then innovation-based uh, support is, is, is part of our life. Eh? And we need to be sure that this is the very important point. Eh? The, yeah, coming back to, to, the, to the idea of the Support Center for Technological Innovation, we are running at this moment two different programs. From one side up to IUPM, we see the, the program uh, to support entrepreneurship at the university and also the creation of new spin-off companies. In fact, uh, yesterday evening, we had the, the, the ceremony for the uh, award of the best business plans uh, presented in the, in the competition for the year. And it was also a success uh, to see that uh, this year we have received uh, more than 400 new ideas for business. 
and we were uh, working with more than 100 of them. Finally, 63 business plans were presented. Uh, yesterday, we had the opportunity to, uh, to present the, the, the best ones of them. Um, then, uh, we're, uh, last year, we have created uh, 80 new spin-offs, and then probably this year, the number figure will be close similar. Uh, at the end of October, we had a 15, then probably we'll finish the year more or less with the same figure. That is an impressive, because uh, in the last 10 years, we have created more than 144 new spin-offs. And then uh, the question is that how to improve it, how to help them in growing up. And this is also the reason that in this, in this uh, 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 workshop, we have also invited other spin-offs from other places. And I would like to thank uh, uh, um, people coming from, from Switzerland to show how this kind of companies are created in other countries like the Ecole Polytechnique Federal de Lausanne, but which is also another technical university close similar to us. Then uh, let me finally give a final message uh, to, to all participants. Uh, this is an informal workshop in this sense, and then we need to emphasize, apart from the presentation and informal sessions, uh, maximum um, optimized time for networking. And then uh, please, um, during coffee breaks and lunch break, uh, you will be able to speak with colleagues. Do that, because at the end, uh, it is uh, the best way to learn. Eh? Take advantage of it. Networking is the basic ingredient of the open innovation ecosystem, and we are trying to do that here. This is part of, the, of our institutional commitment, and, uh, and then also for uh, our invited speakers from other parts, uh, enjoy your stay in Madrid. Eh? Thank you very much for your attention. And now, yes, Maria Luisa. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Mr. Prieto. Thank you, Gonzalo Leon, for inviting me to introduce and to open this session. It is my real pleasure to, to be here today because uh, such uh, workshops is the kind of things, the kind of activities that we are trying to promote from the Ministry of, Sci uh, of Economy and Competitiveness, but, but more particularly from the Secretary of State of uh, uh, Research and Innovation. Um, to tell you the truth, uh, this uh, university is a model in, uh, in w the kind of things that uh, we are trying to promote from the ministry. And this, ki this uh, workshop is, uh, is just an example. This university uh, is uh, playing in a good sense the three, uh, uh, the three angles of a university that means education, research, and innovation. So this center, the Center for the Support of to, for Technological uh, Innovation, is uh, that is led by by Gonzalo Leon uh, is playing well the two things that we are trying to promote in our policy that is the internationalization through the cooperation between our agents and agents uh, from another from another part of the of the world and as well the commercialization of the R and D. Uh, based in, uh, in these two things, uh, I can uh, explain a little bit what is our policy from the ministry. We, we have just approved uh, a national strategy, the Spanish strategy for science, technology, and innovation. And this strategy, uh, the main aim of this strategy is uh, to realize that uh, uh, in Spain we don't have a, a, a really good ecosystem for innovation that is uh, playing or, uh, and is running in a good sense. Uh, it's true that uh, our ecosystem a decade ago or even two decades ago was uh, smaller, was uh, weaker than, uh, than it is today. But uh, uh, this ecosystem needs to be improved and needs to be uh, reinforced. That's why our strategy try as a, uh, the first aim to create such ecosystem to, uh, to have a good vertebration among all the agents that are playing in the, in the uh, Spanish ecosystem for innovation. Due to this, um, we have uh, four main pillars in this uh, national strategy that is talent, first of all, because without persons, uh, it's impossible to create a, any policy, to do anything. Uh, so to promote talent, not only talent uh, for research in uh, universities, in uh, public, uh, uh, public uh, research centers, but also talent in, uni in, uh, in companies, because uh, it's extremely difficult to, to promote uh, the technological transfer from the universities to companies, if in companies there are not uh, enough level 
uh, in technology, enough talent in technology to, to be able to realize that they need technology to improve, they need technology to create value, to, to be differentiated uh, or to differentiate their products from other products in, a, in another part of the world. Of the world. And so to do this, uh, to improve the, uh, and to enhance the transfer, the technological transfer is necessary to, to create value in talent, in the talent that, that is playing in the companies. So our first pillar of this strategy is promoting talent uh, worldwide. Um, the second, uh, the second pillar is the excellence, because we need to create this ecosystem and we need to create uh, critical mass, enough critical mass to have a robust, uh, a robust system, R&D system in Spain. Uh, the excellence is needed, so uh, we, are, we were promoting this excellence from the past, but we need to continue promoting this excellence for the future. The second pillar is leadership, entrepreneurial leadership. Uh, the previous uh, strategies were promoting mainly the technological offer, the technological supply. Uh, this, uh, this strategy, as a difference from the previous one, uh, is trying to enhance also, is trying to promote technological demand and, to, and so to transmit to entrepreneurs that uh, they need to be leaders in the world and so they need to be leaders by the technology. And the fourth pillar is uh, the societal challenges. Due to this, our strategy has a main concept uh, or has a main idea from concept to the market because we need to know that we are promoting science, we are promoting in technology and innovation, or mainly we are promoting science and technology to be able to transmit that to the market through innovation. So uh, this, is, uh, the, this is the basis of our national strategy. But uh, to achieve this target, uh, these targets, uh, we, uh, we are trying to put in place different, different instruments. But to tell you the truth, it, it, we need to realize the moment that Spain is, uh, is living. And so we need to, to be able to, to identify our main goal. If we want to promote the internationalization of the international cooperation uh, with uh, of all of IENS, uh, probably the best way to do it is to participate in, best, uh, in a best uh, way uh, in the European programs as it is, for instance, uh, Horizon 2020. Uh, it's true that uh, we have been participating in the seventh framework program in a very good way, uh, but uh, we need to uh, enhance our participation. We need to increase our participation, mainly because the budget of this new program is uh, is bigger than it is the present program. So, uh, from the ministry, we are pushing our agents to go to Brussels to to participate in the new program uh, that uh, will open uh, the, the 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 open calls will be open in in certain days. Sorry, in several days. So uh, Horizon 2020 is our goal. Horizon 2020 must be the target of all of us, not only from the, the target of the ministry, must be the target of all of us. Because uh, in Horizon 2020, uh, we need to find the excellence, the recognition of excellence that we are creating at home. But we need this recognition, this international recognition, participating in Horizon 2020 particularly because there are some agents that uh, didn't participate so much in the, in the past and uh, we need to push them to participate uh, in the future. So uh, we are creating uh, an enhancing program, a motivation. Uh, we are promoting uh, this participation. We are preparing people to participate, we are training people, we are training universities, we are training uh, companies to participate in, uh, in this uh, international program because by this way they will find the recognition, they will find the excellence uh, they, they need uh, and the, thanks to this excellence probably they will be able to, to, to have better innovation worldwide and to have, le uh, to have clients uh, of uh, the different products uh, worldwide. 
So internationalization is our goal of this strategy uh, to um, have a better vertebration of the ecosystem of innovation is also, uh, is also a goal for this strategy, but to promote the, uh, the entrepreneurs uh, is also a third goal of this strategy. And uh, to promote the entrepreneurship uh, is not because uh, the promotion of this entrepreneurship is not because we, uh, we, are not un uh, we don't have entrepreneurship we are present in Spain that we have, but the problem is that um, uh, our companies, uh, the life of our companies no, is, not to, uh, is not too long. Uh, we, uh, if, we, if we see the, some indexes, we can see that the promotion of new companies in Spain is similar to, uh, to other countries, but the problem is, our, is that our companies continue being small for the future, and uh, if we are small, uh, our weakness is, is, is very strong, is impressive, and so the, 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 the risk of, uh, of die in the near future is very high. So that's why uh, we are promoting entrepreneurship, but we are promoting also the growth of the companies because only if we have size, uh, we, we will be able to play uh, in, the, in the international markets in the best, in the best way. So due to this, we, we have recently approved uh, a, a law for entrepreneurship in which we are enhancing some educational skills in which we are enhancing also some uh, changes uh, in roles of the uh, in, in, in some rules of the administration, but also we are pr putting in place some uh, tax uh, differentiations uh, in our in our uh, in our uh, rule system uh, in, in our Spanish rule system. So just to finalize, uh, I would like to mention uh, quite uh, small things. Uh, technological transfer. Uh, I said from the very beginning that this uh, is probably one thing that we are not playing in the best way. Uh, why we are, we, we are not strong in technological transfer uh, at present as, uh, the, as we are in other countries. Why we, we if we see the, some, uh, for instance, the European scoreboard, we are very good in, uh, in papers, we are very good uh, making Science, but we are not so good as we are, uh, as we, uh, as, we uh, as the same rank we have. Uh, as, uh, that means we are not in the same rank in the international aspect that we ha as we have in our economy. So um, the technological transfer is the problem. Uh, probably the problem for this absence of technological transfer. Uh, this. Uh, we don't have the, the enough level of te technological transfer is different, different, uh, different items. The first one I, I said before is the size of our companies. If uh, the size of our companies continues being small, it's very difficult that those companies absorb enough uh, transfer, in, enough science that you are creating here in the university. So if we uh, achieve to increase the level the, it, to increase the size of our companies, probably we will be able also to absorb more technology from universities that we are doing at present. The second point is uh, the, ta the, the goal, the, the, the sense of uh, the, universities, the universities. Not all the universities in Spain are like uh, this university that uh, has very clear, as I said at the beginning, the three, uh, the three angles of uh, of the three main goals of this university that is education, research, but innovation as well. Uh, so some other universities are creating science, but this science is not enough mature to be transferred to the market. And so uh, we are two, two different worlds uh, growing uh, in a separate way that is universities from one side and the companies but in, in another side. So uh, we have a press. We are at present uh, creating uh, some uh, environments by which we are discussing what to do uh, for improving transfer technology. What to to do to uh, to mobilize uh, universities through the market, and what to do to mobilize companies through the universities. So uh, probably it's needed to to change some uh, items, some rules at the universities. It's needed to improve 
uh, or to implement in a better way some of the new rules that we are approving at present in order to encourage uh, companies to go to the universities, but uh, as I said before, uh, to have better talent in companies is totally needed if we would like to, uh, tr uh, to improve technological transfer and to create by this way a stronger uh, ecosystem of for innovation. So uh, a workshop like this one is, is a good way to, to, to revise all the rules, to revise what we are doing, to revise what is needed to improve our system, our ecosystem. And so I only would like to thank you uh, for this initiative. I would like to encourage you to discuss uh, what is needed to change in our system to improve this, uh, this situation. And uh, I'm sure at the end of this uh, workshop, uh, and thanks to your uh, international uh, advisory members, uh, you will find the way to improve uh, what to do from this university, but also the externalizations that you will create uh, in other agents. Thank you very much. Thank you, Marisa and Gonzalo, for, for your words. And let me just uh, say a few words uh, to, to conclude this uh, opening session of, of the workshop. Well, first of all, uh, welcome to the uh, Technical University of Madrid, and in particular, welcome to this uh, campus of excellence of Monte Gancedo. Um, that, uh, well, probably you know a little bit about the, the program of campus of excellences in Spain, but each of these campuses were focused to one particular mission or goal, and the campus of excellence of Monte Cancedo, the focus of this campus was uh, the, the technological innovation. So this is a key difference uh, between this campus and, and the other ones uh, that you can find in, in Spain. So uh, the goal of this, this area in which you are now is uh, well, to foster that uh, relationship with industry. That is one of the key uh, roles of the key goals of the Technical University of Madrid. And more in particular, the sense of the transfer of technology uh, from the, from the academia to the industry. This has been always a goal of this uh, university and, and well, campuses like this one and in particular uh, centers like the Center for Support and the Technical Innovation are examples of how this university is trying to foster these kind of activities. The, the Center of uh, Support in the, the Transfer of Technology that uh, is led by Professor Gonzalo Leon, as has been said, was officially uh, formally created by the uh, government board of the university uh, Always a year ago, or something like that, and something a little bit more than a year ago. And well, it started uh, operation formally uh, this year, in the beginning of this year. Uh, well, the mission of this center is again to foster this kind of initiative, so the, the, the well known valorization term, the valorization in terms of uh, giving value to the, techno the technology that is developed in the, in the university value in terms of being used by the industry, by the, the society, and this is something that this center is doing very well uh, from the, the last year. Uh, it's clear that the university has always uh, been trying to do this, and during the, the last years, when I say last, I mean more than 10 years, we have been doing things in the university for promoting this kind of activities, uh, but now in particular with this center we, we are uh, obtaining better results because we are putting uh, specific resources to, to do this. The InnovaTech, as you know, this is the first InnovaTech International Workshop. What, what is InnovaTech? Well, InnovaTech is a kind of trademark. It's not a trademark, but it's a kind of mark. Let's say a kind of mark that we created a uh, well, couple of years ago, three years ago, trying to put this, this kind of a stamp of mark to those technologies created by the university with a, a kind of a quality level. The qui the, this quality level should be measured in terms of different points of, of uh, parameters, like for example, the, the value of the quality of the patent behind, the quality of the people behind the idea, uh, well, how well that um, technology has been tested, different things that uh, once we create a technology with the Innovatech logo, the Innovatech uh, mark, that should be a clear uh, identification of quality of technology. We are doing that, we are working for, for doing that, and I'm hoping that in the next years, everyone will recognize this mark as, as quality level for the technology created at, uh, at the university. The, well, we have uh, here today 
a number of, of very outstanding speakers that will share with us their, their uh, way of seeing uh, these kind of things, I mean, how to improve the, the technology transfer from, as, as Gonzalo said, from, from the US, from Europe, from India, from many other places in which we commonly <laughs> look to in order to learn. And well, uh, fortunately today we have all of them here uh, in order to, well, to serve with us their, their way of, of thinking. Uh, so I want to thank all of you for coming, especially for all the people that have traveled from, from long distances. And also I want to thank all of you for attending this, this workshop that I am sure that will be useful for, for all of us. I, I also want to thank Maria Luisa Poncela that for the support that we receive, that we always receive from, from the Ministry of uh, Economy and, and Competitive Competitiveness uh, in all the activities that we, we put in, in, in progress. And also I congratulate specifically to Gonzalo Leon for organizing this workshop. I think that, well, this is the first one, so this is a, a key point and an initiative that hopefully will be repeat Every, every, every year, and uh, well, I congratulate him and his team for, for organizing the workshop and having all these people here, here with us. I don't want to, to say more things because I know that you are here to, well, to start listening to the, the speakers and, and learning and doing some networking. So again, thank you very much for being here. I hope and ensure that you will feel comfortable here at the Technical University of Madrid and just enjoy the day with us. Thank you.